my name is Juan de la Garza. I pastor Iglesia del Pueblo here in Palmview, Texas. I'll, I'll share another story with you. I'm sure that uh, I'm going to say her name because I know that she wouldn't mind. She already shared this story with another ministry. Her name is Jeanette. Jeanette came across when she was 30 years old. And I, I, I guess I need to kind of back up a little bit here uh, because I get asked uh, many times, why are you involved with these illegals? Why are you involved as a pastor with these people that are coming across illegally? Why is it that you do that? Well, the reason is because at the age of 12, I also came through that river. I was also illegal in this country. I was illegal for one year. And after that one year, I was able to get my documents. And now I'm legally in the United States. I'm a pastor now. My other brother, my second brother, he's also a pastor. My third brother, he's a deacon in a church. My sister, she is involved in community services with the church. And my other brother, he's also involved in ministry. So all of us are involved in ministry. Because of that, because of the experience that we went through many, many years ago, I committed myself to help whoever would come across. So let me tell you the story about Jeanette. Jeanette came when she was 13 years old. Uh, she was having major issues at the house. There was no food. There was no, uh, she couldn't go to school because there was no money. And uh, her and, uh, and another little girl, 30, another 30 year old, decided to get across the river. And both of them came across. And this is what she says. I wanted to provide for my family. And even though I was 13 years old, I wanted to do something for my mom and my dad. So she came across, she didn't have a place to stay, she didn't know anybody. She started working for a, for a store here in McAllen. Uh, I believe the owners were Chinese. And after they finished that day's work at that store, uh, she told the man, the owner, that she didn't have a place to stay. If it was okay, if she could stay in that dump, uh, what do you call it, a dumpster? Uh, there's a dumpster behind in the alley. If she could stay there and spend the night. So these little girls, 13 years old, both of them, they spent two years at the, in that dumpster. In the morning, they would get up early in the morning and they would shower inside the place and they would work all day long. At night, they would spend the night at the dumpster. 13 years old until one aunt found out that she was in the U.S. She took her to the house and it was worse because now she was working in different homes for the aunt and she was making the money and of course she never got any money. Uh, about a year later, the aunt uh, was able to get, get her some clothes but she, don't, she didn't know why. She would never buy clothes for her. But this time she was buying clothes. She bought a very nice dress, very nice shoes, very nice, uh, uh, brush her hair real nice, and fix her up real nice, bought her a purse, and she didn't know what was, what was happening. Well, it happens that that night, she went to a bar with her, with her aunt. And that night, they, were, they had a raffle, and uh, they were selling tickets for $40. The end was selling tickets for $40. So she was gonna be raffled that night. She was able to run, left the place, to hide again, and to go back and work, and live in the dumpster again. Long story short, we found Jeanette in one of our colonias. Now she's a single mom with four children. Now she's a Christian. The kids are Christians now. We have a Bible study in her house. The last meeting that we had at her house, she had 60 people at her house, 30 adults and 30 children. That's 
the impact that we're making in our communities. She's still illegal, her kids are illegal, and a lot of the people that have come are illegal. But guess what? They have Jesus Christ in their hearts. And because of that, uh, in two weeks, we'll be baptizing people from that community because of Jeanette. That's Jeanette's story, and that story, listen to this, this story is repeated many, many, many times in those communities. So that's where we spend our time, that's where we take our hot meals, that's where we provide rice and beans, that's where we provide anything that we have or anything that we receive to make the life of these people a little bit easier.